it, okay? What up, peeps? All right, let us, if you missed me yesterday, I'm sorry. I was doing homework and I was taking like an admin day yesterday. I had stuff to get done um, outside of cooking live for y'all. I still got like nine jobs, so not as, un uh, not as un unemployed as I thought. All right, first up, cocktail, Bali 60 at checkout. If there's anything you need from the online store, you can go to shop. DariusCooks.com and the discount code is the word Bali 60 Ooh. at checkout. I'm about to be shame over here. Look at this. The Illuminati tried to get me. Oh, let's do it. We need a um we need a moderator. Let's add Didi as a moderator because that's the first name I've seen. Okay. Um, Bali60 at checkout. Shop DariusCooks.com. Anything you need from the online store. All right. Including this cocktail shaker, the cocktail kit that I'm using. I'm going to add a little bit of strawberry lemonade, Kool Aid to the mix. And then black folks are the original mixologists because we like to mix our Kool-Aid together. If you don't know this, welcome to being black, what a warm. Black people do not make one kind of Kool-Aid and one flavor unless we just don't have no more. Even with our great Kool-Aid, we mix great with lemon, okay? It's like an unspoken Kool-Aid rule. Tropical punch got to be mixed with lemonade, Cherry got to be mixed with lemonade. Cherry, strawberry, tropical punch could go together as long as you put lemonade with it because that's what make up what? Red. Trust me when I tell you, you have not lived until you have tried to explain to an Indonesian how to properly mix Kool-Aid. Trust me when I tell you, until you have taught and explained to an Indonesian person the unspoken black rules of making Kool-Aid, you've not lived, okay? No, 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 you've not lived. Try explaining to somebody that's not black. Try explaining to somebody that's not black that red is a flavor, but a color, and grape is really a flavor. They understand grape. They can't understand red. And for the life of me, neither the fuck can I. But I try, you know, listen, I did the best I could with what I had, all right? Let's add some water. Okay, I'm in Indonesia. <laughs> the other day they was like, what's wrong with the sink? E. coli and mercury and a western stomach. That's what's wrong with the sink. Okay, we not built. Girl, this 60644 stomach is not built. Girl, this Chicago, Illinois stomach is not built for this. Uh... Hold on, I'll put it on too tight. <laughs> Ain't that what she said? Uh, my stomach is not built for that, okay? If you know what I mean. And I think you do. Hold on, I gotta get this lid off. I put it on too tight. All right, let's put good stuff in here. I'm gonna start with Kool-Aid as the base, red Kool-Aid. I'm gonna give it some ice. Vodka turns it into a martini. Jose Cuervo turns it into a red Kool-Aid margarita. All right. Okay, Darius. For the red Kool-Aid margarita with a little bit of Cointreau, a little bit of Jose Cuervo. And you know I got to add a little bit of lychee liqueur to this, right? Just a touch 
for a little bit of razzle and a little bit of dazzle. And then, when your auntie make Kool-Aid, and she really thinks she's doing something with the Kool-Aid, she put fresh lemons, fresh limes, maybe an orange slice or two in, your, in her stuff. She really thinks she's doing something. Auntie, sit down, okay? But I'm gonna I'm a squeeze some fresh lime in mine today. Like somebody's, like somebody's auntie, okay? All right, y'all, let's give this a shake. Don't forget, I'm using the Darius Cooks Cocktail Shaker. You can get it at shopdariuscooks.com. Bali 60 tonight, y'all. Bali 60 tonight. We'll save you 60% uh, off anything on the online store. This ain't Texas. Ain't no hold on. So lay your cards, 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 cards down. It's perfect. The lychee in this is beautiful and pronounced. It's the rice sweetness. Oh boy, and it's a pretty stiff drink. If this is your first, second, or third time joining us, we ask that at this moment you please stand. We do realize that it is by no coincidence with God's divine providence that you are here with us this evening. And so for that reason, we'd like to welcome you to tonight's service. We do hope something is said or done that encourages your heart to join us again in the near future. Now, at this time, we do have the impact agents coming from the rear of the sanctuary to hand you an information card. We do ask that when you go around for offering, you put the card in the, uh, in the basket so that we can stay in contact with you. Just for being our guest, we do have a free gift for you this evening. You can get it in the West Vestibule. Do not go to the East Vestibule. The West Vestibule is going to be where your free gift. The East Vestibule has been reserved. It is the sign up for our seniors. Last weekend at Sister Josephine's home going, the mother's board had too many cell phones going off. In the middle of the eulogy, while her only daughter was bereaving her beloved. They said that Sister Bernadette's grandson programmed back that ass up as the ringtone. Now, Sister Bernadette said it was the orthopedic office calling because her new shoes were in and she had to go pick them up, but she couldn't stop back that ass up. So the pastor has decided that we are going to have a technology class for all of the seniors, if you have an iPhone or an Android, you are required to take uh, technology 101 and 201 being offered next Saturday at 6 a.m. Because mothers get up at 5. All right. Uh, at this time, all of our visitors, we would like to welcome you. <laughs> Let the food eat in me. Love the food eat in you. Let the food eat in me, love the food eat in you, cause you're easy. Bop, 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 you're easy. Bop, 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 you're easy. Bop, 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 easy to love. You may be seated. We are a progressive ministry. Thank you, and pastor requires excellence from all of us. It's Friday in the United States. It's Saturday morning in Indonesia. But in my spirit, in my heart, it's still Friday. If there's anything you need from the online store, shop DariusCooks.com. Bali 60 for 60% off 
Okay, I didn't really need these. I didn't, but I bought these because I had to meet my minimum at the bakery in order to use my credit card. So I bought these buns, but what I really came for tonight is this ciabatta bread that we're gonna turn into garlic bread a little bit later, okay? But I just wanted to show you what I had picked up from the Indonesian supermarket. Oh, let me tell you how God blessed me this morning. Can I testify on the goodness of the Lord? You know, I don't really have bad days over here. Everything was going well. Every once in a while, God gives me a wink to say, hey, son, I love you. I went to get a raise in Danish because what happened is you got to have your minimum. It's 50,000 rupees. And so the bread is so cheap. that. So I said, give me a raise in Danish. So she said, okay, okay, sir. I get you a raise in Danish. That's how they talk. Okay, mister. So they went to the, she went to the back. I ain't paid no attention. The helper came back and gave me that Danish. Why that Danish was still warm? I said, come on. For the Danish still being warm. Where is God ever present? Same God got the nighttime in the United States, got the warm Danish. What is he? Omnipotent, he's great. Okay, this is, uh, I had about these. This is Lay's potato chips. Girl, paprika flavor. And it's, and it's F-L-A-B-O-U-R, flavour. I said, I got about this. Ain't no way I'ma be down here. I ain't never seen paprika flop flavor in my life. I had to try it. I said, I'm gonna have to just show the people what this is like. This is flavor. It smells like barbecue. Let me see. Tastes like barbecue. I guess. Paprika flavour means barbecue. You know what it tastes like? It tastes like light skin barbecue. And I had to buy these too, because American. They expensive. Each bag of chips is like $8. They're like $8 a piece. Because they import them from the United States. They $8. If there's anything you need from my online store, You can go to shop, <laughs> shop DariusCooks.com, the discount code Bali60 at checkout. Now, I got some um, Parmesan cheese, uh, fresh Parmesan cheese. I can't find a cheese grater to save my life. I don't know where the cheese graters are at. I looked, they don't have them in the supermarket. So we're gonna be up Shit's Creek without a paddle with this Parmesan cheese for this pasta in a little bit. Don't ask me how we gonna grade it. I don't know, but we gonna figure it out. Huh? If we can build them pyramids, we can figure out how to grate this cheese. I bought golden uh, raisins. If you know, you know, okay? Okay. I picked up some more onion powder because I was running low. I'm running low on garlic powder too, but I didn't see none. I picked up some Victoria Puree de tomates. Ain't none of this in English. So I pray to God this is tomato puree because ain't none of this. Victoria, I don't know where she come from. Girl, let me read this to you. Y'all ready? Come on. Draw, <laughs> Draw in your listening ear. Hmm? Draw in your listening ear. See, Pasiran, Paradisnik, Sestavine, Paradisnik, 99.8%, Sol U Porabno, Najo Mani Do Ozmaseno No Vru. 
Po oduru huranti vi haladimiku nikibek. Baby, when I tell you what your guess is, as good as mine. I just pray this is tomatoes when I open it up. Father, in the name of Jesus, we come as humbly as we know how God realizing that even though we cannot read this language, you are the creator of all languages, God. We come trusting and believing on this Saturday morning in Indonesia and this Friday night in the United States that when we open this up, God, we declare and we decree that this shall be tomato puree. God, sweet as the tomatoes from the Garden of Gethsemane, like only you know how to do. These lessons we ask in your son Jesus' name, we do pray. Thank God. Amen. Listen, you got to pray without ceasing. Huh? You be afraid to own him on earth, he's going to be afraid to own you in heaven. I cut to fool. But baby, the only reason I'm still here is because of prayer. Huh? Okay. Then I picked up some, um, what this is? Teas. Okay. Baby, I'm addicted. Baby, I can't get enough of these Chinese, Korean, or Japanese teas. I don't know what the hell these is. You know, I don't know what the hell these is. They don't, it's, it's got some symbols on the top. I can't read these symbols. Your guess is as good as mine, but they're good. <laughs> ah, can you tell I'm having the time of my life over here? Huh? Can you tell the time I'm having the time of my life? Okay, this is red cabbage, also called Kol Merach. Girl, don't do that. Ground beef, 450 grams. Teach you something today. I'm going to teach you something today. I'm addicted to body wash. It don't matter where it's at. They had goat's milk with English lavender and rosemary. I don't eat goat cheese because she's strong. Goat cheese go to the gym and she work out. Goat cheese to be doing keto and stuff, but this I'm a, this smell good, so I'm going to try that. Well, it's time for my shower in a little bit. Thank you. Okay, mozzarella cheese. We need this. Okay. Ricotta. We need this. Thank you. Girl, I got hot. Hold on one second. The AC really ain't up that high, y'all. Oh, you know what? Let me cut the AC up a little more. Hold on. I done got warm, child. Ooh, wee. Okay. Of all the times, you trusted me. Okay, what else we picked up? Some spaghetti. Tra futura classica. I don't know why I'm speaking Italian with a Spanish accent, but Latin is Latin, okay? Now, fish, we're going to fry. Girl, they ain't have no catfish. I look. <laughs> no, I look. I said, do they got catfish? I look for catfish steaks. I look for um, catfish fillets. Girl, I ain't see one catfish. I'm gonna have to sneak me a catfish in my carry-on, a live one. That's pregnant. And when I get my new house, fill a pool up with fresh water, not that chlorine water. I gotta put the catfish in there, let her give birth to them eggs. And then we'll be in business. I don't know who's going to clean them, but we'll find somebody. This is Dover Soul. It sounds familiar. Let's see if we can fry it. Just in case, I also picked up red sea bass. I don't know if you're supposed to fry this either. Because, you know, some fish is made for roasting, not frying. Ain't but one way to find out. And then I said, there he is. If all else fails... Fry some shrimp. Do the shrimp and the fish. It's a fish fry. Huh? It's a Friday night fish fry. You ain't got nothing else to do 
or else you wouldn't be up here watching me. So we're gonna fry some fish today. Now, these teas, I am also addicted to. I've come to learn that these are paired with rock sugar, and this is honey lemon. Girl, the Chinese, they, don't, they do a lot of stuff right. And these tea, I don't know if they're Chinese or not. You tell me what they're saying. What is that? What is that? What is that? What is that? And what is that? See what I'm saying? I can't tell. I don't know. But one thing I do know is who holds tomorrow? Victoria, she also got stewed tomatoes too. Do it, God. God, like only you can, God, touch, heal, and deliver, and make whole. God, make these stewed tomatoes or whole tomatoes when I open up this can. These blessings we ask in your son Jesus' name, we do pray. Amen. You have to anoint his head with oil. His cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me. I bought some citrus vodka. I was going to make martinis, but I decided on margaritas. I bought some more cooking oil, just in case. This is tropical. This is two, I don't know, this is a two liter. The two liter sure got small. When I was growing up, two liters was bigger than this. They must have um, changed that down to the, the, the um, place. I needed some hot sauce for my fish. I found Frank's. That's the closest I could find to America is Frank's. They didn't have no Louisiana. They didn't have no crystals. They didn't have no grace. They didn't have no Cholula. They got Frank's. I'm going to use her, him. I bought this milk because I'm going to show y'all that I can't make buttermilk down here. Red wine for the pasta sauce. They had this. Balinese tangerine marmalade. Don't worry about it. I'll see what that's about later. And then my everyday purchase, a watermelon. And they have yellow watermelon down here. Yellow meat watermelon down here is... Not that expensive, it's like $4, $3, and it's always in season, okay? Yellow meat watermelon. All right. Now, I think we can start cooking. If there's anything you need from the online store, you can go to shopdariuscooks.com. I only got two cookbooks with me, Stories from My Grandmother's Kitchen and Eat Rich or Fry Trying, right? 60% off both of these at shopdariuscooks.com. The discount code is Bali60 at checkout. Now, um, what I'm finna tell y'all? The pasta sauce I'm finna make is my normal, everyday pasta sauce that I make from scratch. This pasta sauce you can get, the recipe is in my Pressure cooker um, cookbook, all right? It is in apply pressure, but with soul, all right? And you can get that book at shopdariuscooks.com. Girl, this tequila. The discount code is the word BALI60 at checkout, all right? Okay, let me grab this. And let me cut the, I gotta preheat the oven. Come on, put the bread in the oven, all right? We're gonna preheat the oven. And please do not ask me what temperature. When I tell you I'm just as confused as you are. Now, we need some buttermilk. I have tried over and over to make buttermilk, but I am not succeeding. There's something with these Indonesian cows that's not the same. This is 100% fresh milk pure. I would read to you what the back say, but I can't because it's not in English, okay? 
I'm going to pour some milk in here. Now, the other day I put vinegar in here. Vinegar didn't do a thing. So I said, let me try to curdle it with some lime. Let me see if the lime juice is going to make a difference because that vinegar said, no, no, no. So this is pretty interesting because you would think that you would be able to do this with no problem. But for some reason, y'all, the milk here doesn't curdle. Matter, matter of fact, what I'll probably, let me put some um, vinegar in here too. I'm going to put a couple of drops. Oh, wait. Oh, no. Wait a minute now. Well, let's do it anyway. Okay. A drop of red wine vinegar. We might have a little curdling hat. I might have a little curdling that fast. Maybe it was the apple cider vinegar was not the best. But this seemed to be doing a little something now. Put it to the side. We'll deal with that later. Okay. Into a pot. Let's get it on some heat. Medium. Yeah. We hit it with a little oil. A little cooking oil. You could use olive oil, but olive oil is expensive here. Okay? Let me tell you what we can't afford. Too much olive oil. This is how it comes too. This is the biggest it comes. Mm -hmm. That's the biggest it comes. All right, let's do some onion. Let's start off with that. Darius cooks everyday knife. I don't know what's in stock. I don't know if the everyday knife is in stock or the Santuco or the, uh, the whole kit, the whole set. But if it's there, you can get it at shopdariuscooks.com. And the discount code is the word Bali. 60 at checkout. Have you ever used Greek yogurt mixed with some water? No, that's my next choice though. I don't mind. I wanted something that I could use to not just tenderize the fish, but also let the seasoning stick to it. So listen, um, the Indians do something similar with their yogurt and spices and tandoori. So that's my next choice, right? If for some reason I can't because the milk is different. If I can't figure this buttermilk situation out, then it's going to be a yogurt thing next. Okay. All right. Let's throw some onions in. And let's get a diced onion together. All right. My uh, oil is on medium heat, y'all. So not like terribly high. Medium, okay. Let me grab a pepper. I don't know what kind I have. Oh, I got a green one. I was nervous. I didn't think I had a green bell pepper. And I was like, I'm going to use whatever kind I have. Because it's down on low on. All right, so that was an onion. And then this is a, a bell pepper that will get going in here. You don't have to use uh, green if you don't want. I know some people don't like green bell pepper. They hate the way green bell pepper tastes. I'm gonna be honest with you. And uh, I heard this from a Chicago chef years ago when I sat under his tutelage and may he forever rest in peace. He just passed away last week, all right? Chef Julius Russell, one of the great chefs out of Chicago, Illinois, had a place on uh, South Loop a long time ago that I used to frequent. But he said, uh, remember one time he was teaching a class and I was in his class and he said, green bell peppers have their place. They don't belong in everything. Then I said to myself, if I'm ever going to move outside of soul food cooking, he's right. He's right. He has a great point. If I'm going to stick with soul food cooking, she belongs. You know what I mean? And even though I am in Bali, I will bring a bit of soul with me. Okay? All right. Onion, bell pepper, 
and 950 grams of ground beef, a pound and a half, about. Okay, and this is ground beef. I don't know if it's 80-20, I don't know if she's 70-30. Okay, I don't know if she's a 50-50 kind of love. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what this is, okay? It's so good, don't ask me. Okay, girl, I don't know. I don't know what kind What kind of uh, ground beef this is? I don't know. Okay. I don't know if this is uh, 70 30, 60 40. Talking about the 50 50 love. Yeah. It's so good. Love is somebody when somebody loves you back. And that's a fact. To be loved. And be loved in return is the only thing that my heart desires. Just appreciate, hey, the little things you do. Keep on coming, coming back to you. I don't know if they're the right words or not, but it sounds good. I don't know. <laughs> I do not know if they're the right lyrics. But you know black folks, we make up our own. Child, on a Friday night, we had a, uh, we had a stereo system, okay? You did with the glass, where you touch it, and there's a magnet in the upper left-hand corner that'll hold the glass in place. And when you ready, you hit the glass, see? Now, we used to have a station where I come from. See, the kids these days don't know nothing about a cassette tape. We had a cassette tape, and we used to be nasty listening to Night Moods. See, now, Night Moods came on at 10 o'clock after the 9 o'clock hour, Okay? Because 5 to 9 was the ride home, and then they have the, at 10 o'clock. So 10 o'clock, and where I come from on B103, that's 102.7 in Chicago, we had a lady, her name was Irene Mamacita Mojica. And Irene used to do the night moves, okay? And you have to catch the songs. They used to play the hits. Let me hold you tight If only for one night Okay They used to play the hits Ain't there something I can give you In exchange for everything you give to me Read my mind you make me Feel just fine when I think my peace of mind is out of reach. Okay, and let me tell you what we used to do to catch the songs. It wasn't no rewind in the radio. You got to be right there at the right time. And what we used to do, see, we want to record them songs on our cassette tape so we could play it later. It was a specific way you had to record the songs. You had to, this was the, now this was the cheat code. The cheat code was hitting the pause button because the pause button was like elastic. You hit it, it come up, whatever. The key was you got to hit play and record at the same time. See, you just can't hit record and think it's going to work. It gets stuck on you. Huh? So you got to hit play and record together. And you had to be ready. 
Because right after the commercial break, he going to loot them. With barely an intro. Let me tell you what song is getting on my goddamn nerve. There's no limit to the love I'm giving. The love I'm giving. Girl, they played this song every hour from the time I was eight to the time I turned 15. Girl, I'm so tired of hearing that song. Oh, they played that song every single day. And they got on my nerve. Attention, non-black people. I'm finna show you how black people make their spaghetti sauce. <laughs> Attention, non-black people. I am finna to show you. This plus one plus two that fail. This how we make our stuff. If the Indian people could use all them spices, so could black folks. Okay. Now this is my African. I'm tapping into my African roots because, baby, let me tell you something. The African people do this ground. Ooh, ooh, ooh! I done made a mess. Let me tell you what the African people do. If there's anything you need from my online store, you go to shopdariuscooks.com. The discount code is the word BALI60 at checkout to save 60% of everything. Let's say what the African people do. Them Nigerians. Baby, they use every spice in the pantry. I looks over there at, um, sometimes this lady, her name is Chef Ruby. She don't like me. She blocked me a long time ago. I don't like her either, but I look at her stuff sometimes. When they post it in the group, I see it. Girl, that thing be making fish stew. Black pepper. She makes fish stew. Ground fennel. Okay, guys. We are going to add the garlic. Then we are going to add smoked paprika, the turmeric. Then we are going to add the bay leaf. Then we are going to add the fresh thyme, garlic powder. Then we are going to add this seasoning. Then we are going to add that seasoning, red pepper flakes. Then we are going to add this. Then you have to add a little more of this. And before it is done, you must add a little bit more. I said, bitch. Girl, I got um heartburn. I don't even I don't even have heartburn. You have to add some more of this. That was oregano, garlic, uh, what this was? Garlic powder, oregano, and I got a little herbs de Provence, a little Italian seasoning. Okay, guys. <laughs> okay, guys. I want to tell you what you have to add. I do not know why in the fork we add all these seeds on them, but this is what we do. We add this, and baby, that thing have a serious look on her face the whole time. Heffa ain't crack, one smile. Herbs they Provence or Italian seasoning. We all the Italian stuff, child. Season your stuff how you want to season it. Okay. Well, oh, okay, guys, we have to add the seeds on them. We must add all of these and all of that, and we must take everything off of the right side of the seasoning cabinet and put it in the, in the spaghetti stove. I'll be like, look here, girl. <laughs> Sus, you don't think that's too much? Tomato paste. No, I'll be like, sus. Now listen, come here. My African sister, my, my African sister, I say, you don't think that's too much? You know what she said? Oh no, when I was a little girl, 
They don't have to say, girl. <laughs> when I was a little girl, when you was a what? Girl. A who? Girl. A what? Girl. <laughs> when I was a little girl, you have to know that it was my mother. My mother is the one, you see, who tell me that we must season our food. The food must be seasoned to perfection. There is no way we can do it any other way. My brother and my sister, my father and my mother, I got some Shiraz. That's all I had. Okay? Malbec, Shiraz. You know, a cute little red wine. Do what they had. That's what I'm using. She looks sweet, but it's all right. It's going to offset the spice in it, so we good. Okay? There is no way. Can you believe it? Can you believe it? Y'all, this looks so good. Look at this. Girl, I want to put this on a piece of toast and eat this just like this. Look at this. This is the meat sauce. Darius, I just got my two cookbooks, Apply Pressure and Stories. Good. Use the discount code. Don't come emailing me talking about some. I forgot to put discount code in. I'm going to forget to read your email. ShopDariusCooks.com. The discount code is the word BALI60 at checkout to save 60% while I'm live. All right. So that's the ground meat with the stuff, right? A little bit of you name it. Um, a little bit of uh, red wine. Looks delicious, okay? I'm going to add some chicken powder or chicken bouillon. But this is they stuff over here. So they call it chicken powder. That's what I'm going to call it, okay? And then we done had prayer service earlier. I'm like, why is this can greasy? Because we had prayer service. We prayed over it. Anointed its head with oil. Its cup running over. Okay, now this is stewed tomatoes. Puree stewed tomatoes, I think. I prayed about it. And I don't know what it's going to be. But we're going to pray that I open this up. Y'all didn't know I knew how to pray, did you? Thought I was just an idiot. Only reason I'm still here. The power of prayer. Come on, puree tomatoes. Let's see what you got. Look at God. Look at God. Won't he do it? Won't he do it? And let me tell you what I got to do. Think I'm not. so good and why does this look amazing Jesus Christ okay these are I think these is plum tomatoes this is the can that went to prayer service earlier we prayed over this so this is gonna be all right and I think it's yeah I could wait what is this child oh I think I could crush it with my hand let me wash my hands hold on y'all Now, I'm going to be honest, over here, they don't be doing all the hand washing. <laughs> if you look at the look, it's looking a little different over here. Okay, so these are, oh, beautiful, whole tomatoes that I'm just going to crush in my, you see that? I'm going to crush this whole tomato in my clean hand and add this crushed tomato right to this beautiful sauce. So we get some texture besides just that ground beef. 
All right, it's a little crushed tomato. You think I wasn't? I'm saying, did you think I wasn't gonna do that? What were you thinking? Cause I sure had it in my, it was in my purview the entire time. Darius, you know what you came to do? What did you come to this service for? Did you come to point a finger if you didn't come to praise his name? You should walk right out that door. Let me tell you one thing you could do in life. You can take the kid out of Chicago but you cannot take the Chicago out of the kid. A little pinch of sugar and they have this stuff called seaweed extract. It's like their version of um, accent. It's like a low sodium umami thing situation and it's the can I show y'all this? Baby, let me put this on the side. You gotta see this. Hold on one second. I gotta add one more ingredient. Matter of fact, let me add it first. I gotta add one more ingredient. This is nowhere near authentic Italian at all. Yes, I put butter in my spaghetti sauce. Y'all don't. I don't care. Okay. I put butter. If the French could do it in their stuff, I could do it in this. I put a little butter in my spaghetti. I'm sorry if you don't. Okay. Maybe that's why I needed two bariatric surgeries and you didn't need none. But look at this. Look at this. the texture and the consistency of this sauce. They said that's a first. They never seen that. Well, welcome. All right. Look at that. Look at the, look at the texture and the consistency of this sauce. Isn't that beautiful? Let me taste it and see if we need to add something to it or take something away. Over here, they sell bread that's crustless. They are leaps and bounds ahead of America, okay? But they sell crustless bread. And I feel like the only way I'm gonna really know how this tastes is if I put it on bread. Okay, let's see what we need. If you find anything that's not like you, I ask you, Lord, you know what to do. Wash me, Lord. Cleanse me through and through. Take it away from me, Lord. Mm. 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 Jesus Christ, there he is. You made them? Mmm. Mmm. Oh, this is delicious. I know. Okay. Sauce is good. If I could be honest with you, I want a little more spice. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. I want me a little more heat. I don't know who Victoria is, but she showed me some good tomatoes. She do. That's delicious. Mm. 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 That is good, that boy. I want more spice though. It's not spicy enough for me. It's barely got heat to it. 
And when you got them sweet tomatoes and a little sugar, you need a little spice to offset that. So that's perfect, okay? Now, we're gonna put that to the side because we done with our sauce for now. Sauce has been sauced, sauce is good. Let's talk about this fish. Then we got the season. After I fill this drink back up. If it's anything you need from the online store, pot, pan, skillet, cutting board, you name it. Shop DariusCooks.com. The discount code is the word Bali60 at checkout to save 60%. While I'm live. Thank you. Okay, let's see what I bought. Do I have something to put this in? Mm. It's going to have to be this big bowl. Where's the big bowl? Oh, here it go. This is all I got. Deal with it. Okay, let's talk about the fish I bought. I'm gonna tell you what the first thing I looked in. I went to them Indonesian people and I said, where is the catfish? They said, bitch, we don't have it. I said, all right. They don't have catfish. Okay, so we're going to have to explore. Yes, yeah, sugar in, um, yeah, butter and sugar in your, is this, hold on one second. Hold on one second. I see a little too much chatter in the comment section. On butter and sugar. Pardon me one second. First of all, tomatoes are acidic. They come out of a can and they're a little tinny. To offset the acidity in the tomatoes, a pinch of sugar works. You may have seen me put more than a pinch of sugar because I'm using something that is akin to palm sugar. It is not as sweet as the refined white sugar that you find in the United States. Refined white sugar is so detrimental to our health that it is banned in Indonesia. So, a little bit of sugar helps offset the bitterness in the tomato. Secondly, adding butter to the end of a sauce is not a new technique. You may not have heard of it. Hello, France. Can we see you for a second? One of the popular ways that a sauce is either thickened or made richer in France is with the addition of one of two things, either room temperature butter or egg yolks. It makes the sauce a little bit more richer than it normally would be. And since this sauce is going to be mixed with pasta, you want this sauce to be over seasoned. The reason you want your sauce to be over seasoned is because your pasta will be under seasoned. You mix the under seasoned pasta with the over seasoned rich sauce, you have a beautiful mouthfeel. Now, if anybody has any questions, please let me know. Now, they didn't have any catfish. And quit making me come off my high and my drunkenness to read y'all, okay? Quit making me do that. I like up here. Let me stay up here, okay? Thank you, sorry, y'all were fuzzy. Okay, now as I was saying, I was looking for catfish. Oh, if it's anything you need from my online store, you can go to shopdariuscooks.com. The discount code is the word BALI60 at checkout. Girl, you ain't never left the south side of your city and you want to tell these French people how to cook their food. Imagine that. This is soul, like Dover soul. 
That's what this is, okay? She smells good. We're going to use it. We're going to see how it fry up. I don't know how it fry up. We finna find out, okay? Dover sole. And this is, um, they had red sea bass. She wasn't, she wasn't too expensive. 58000 for a filet. That's about $4, five dollars Four, $5. Look at that. She nice and meaty, too. Oh, she got some bones in her, though. Oh, she bony. Oh, she real bony. I need to pick her out. Okay, we got to be careful with her. She bony. And I ain't going to be able to pick her out. But the scales are all gone. Okay, so I'm just going to cut her in two. Like this. Or him. Oh, Jesus. Her or him. I don't know which one it is. Okay. And then, before I clean it, they have some jumbo shrimp. I said, might as well use those too, child. Let me see if these are deveined. I don't think so. Oh, they might be. I can't tell. They're still frozen. They're not the veins. All right, let's run some water on these and get this all thawed out and seasoned and all, or whatever. Okay, these are, they, you know, they have prawns over here. Prawns are like everywhere. And they're cheap, child, they're cheap. You know, prawns are like those big jumbo shrimp, but you gotta be careful because sometimes the prawns be, uh, they got the head on them. And I don't be liking that head on my prawns. I don't like that. I don't like this either. But look at that. Look how juicy she is. They be, they be big and plump and juicy. But I got to clean mine. Okay? I have to. I got to get that little, you know what I'm saying? Up out of there. Can't eat that. That's why I don't eat crawfish. I cannot sit up there and eat that crawfish, baby. Y'all loves that crawfish. I might got some friends of mine. They sit up there with their crawfish and a aluminum pan and go to town. And I'll be like, oh my God. Give me a chicken wing. You know what it is too? I'm gonna tell you what it is. We ain't, I didn't grow up eating it. I grew up on the west side of Chicago. You know what we did not have on the west side of Chicago? Crawfish. Oh, this is a big one here, child. This one had a. Ooh, look at this one. Ooh, girl, what you ate? Ooh, what you ate? Ooh. Girl, look at this. This half an eight, child. This a big one here, boy. Look at this. Baby, she, this one, before this one went to glory, this one was eating up. This one was a big back shrimp right here, baby. She ate everything. Ooh, Jesus. Oh, my God. Oh, it's more to it, y'all. Oh, my God. Ah. Oh, I'm so grossed out. Oh, ah. Oh, that one was way too big. That one was a party animal, okay? That one needed a, you gotta go on a diet next time. You eat too much. <laughs>
This, this live stream is brought to you by Gaze Cleaning Shrimp. <laughs> this, this ad has been, this live stream is brought to you by Sissies Are Us Cleaning Shrimp. Baby, that one needed an emodium. Girl, you, you, that's, that's a shame. I'll let you know. You went to Old Country Buffet, Doc. Or Old Ocean Buffet or something before you died. You ate good. Oh, shoot. Hold on, y'all. Ah, oh, shoot. My hand wet. Ah! Oh. My hand is wet. Hold on, TikTok. <sighs> Sorry. If you are not um, active on your live stream for a while, they'd be like, are you still there? Girl, I'm cleaning shrimp. You don't see me? Okay, let's clean this one. Baby, these shrimp eats good over here, don't they? Shrimp eats good over here, girl. What is in the ocean that y'all eating up like this? Oh, y'all tearing it up. Is that peach cobbler? What is that? <laughs> is that peach cobbler inside? This ain't got nothing in here. You was a lean one. Okay, I got him. I got him. I got him. I got this one. I, I got this one. Yep, I got this one. I didn't get this one. Hold on. Is that peach cobbler? What is that? Red velvet cake. You had smother pork chops, didn't you? Oh, this is so nasty. <laughs> okay, I got this one. I didn't get this one. Hold on, y'all. I bet you, you never woke up this morning talking about some, I'm going to watch somebody clean shrimp today. Have you? Nope. I got this one. I got this one. I did not get this one. This is why I can't go fishing. They say, you want to go fishing? Yes. I love fishing. At Publix. <laughs> you don't want to go fishing? Oh, I love fishing. Girl at Kroger. Oh, yes. I like fishing. The girl at H-E-B. Okay, all right, let's put some salt in this. Okay, a little seaweed extract. We having a fish fry, okay? That's what we have. If there's anything you need from our online store, you can go to shopdairyscooks.com. The discount code is the word BALI60. At checkout, and you'll save 60% while I'm live. A little onion powder, a little garlic situation, a little dried fennel, a little smoked paprika. a little black pepper, and guess what I found over here? Girl, you're not gonna believe what I found. Sure did. Found it over here. Cajun seasoning. She'll look, she'll look moist. That's what he said. Okay, little Cajun seasoning, okay? Now, let's put my barely curdled milk in here. It curdled a little bit. I got a few curdles, okay? It ain't quite buttermilk, but 
it'll work. The milk here is different. It's not the same milk that we have back in the US. So trying to curdle this, unless I just sit it out like overnight, is very, very difficult. Okay, I'm gonna mix this up with my hang. And then I'm gonna let my seasoned seafood hang out, okay? And then we're gonna fry it up in one second. I just gotta make one more thing. Do you mind? I don't think you, I didn't think you did. I just gotta make one more thing before we get our pasta on. Okay, I gotta do one more thing. How long do you, oh shit, how long what? How, oh girl, why I can't scroll up on none of this? I'm trying to scroll up. Every time I scroll up. Oh, how long am I in Bali for? Girl, forever. back to the United States uh, the end of this month. So April 30th. So April 30th, I go back to the U.S. But I'm building a I'm building a house here and um, a restaurant called Hip Hop Soul. We've not yet started on the build yet, but we have secured the land. Um, we've secured the land. We have worked with um, an architectural company to do the architectural drawings, um, the blueprints, the 2D and 3D. Those are gonna be finished today and then the, red, the rest of the changes will be finished next week. Um, and then once that's all finished, we can then source a construction company and we can start the build, okay? So we're not looking for anything to be done until 2025, like late next year, you know what I mean? Okay. All right. In here, I put a little bit of that seaweed extract. Salt works fine. I'm also squeezing in two limes into this mayonnaise. I'm making a dressing. One of my absolute favorite dressings to make. Okay. All right. We have lime juice. If you ever see me adding lime juice, what is the BFF of lime juice? Tequila, a splash. All right, pinch of salt. A little pinch of black pepper. And then, I don't know, I have to have these things in my coleslaw dressing, I'm sorry. I don't know about you, I don't know where you come from, but for me, these are a must. Sorry, garlic powder and onion powder. Sorry, <laughs> if it's not your thing, it's okay, but garlic powder and onion powder in a coleslaw dressing, totally my vibe, all right? We need a little bit of sugar because I like a sweet coleslaw. Not too sweet. All right. And let's mix this together. Child, we done came to Indonesia and made coleslaw. 
No shame in my game. Okay. All right. Coleslaw dressing is lovely, beautiful, thick, the way it should be. All right. Now let's put it together. It goes to everything at your house. Listen, onion and bell pepper, literally, I mean, onion and garlic powder should be in like everything. If it's not, are you really cooking? Okay. If it's not, are you really cooking? Now I bought this cabbage. I bought this cabbage a while ago. I bought this cabbage a while ago, like when I first got here. So let me peel off the outside layers <laughs> of said cabbage. I was gonna stew some down and make a um like church lady cabbage, but I never got around to it. Like new. Don't act like you ain't never did that before. Y'all kill me. Y'all kill me acting like you ain't never did this before. All right, if there's anything you need from the online store, you can go to uh, shopdariuscooks.com. The discount code is the word BALI60 at checkout. And that's gonna save you 60% while I'm live. If you're wondering how I am cutting this up, I am using the Darius Cooks Everyday Chef Knife and the Santuco, which you can get at shop dariuscooks.com, okay? Green cabbage. A little purple. Why not? What is it going to hurt? A little purple cabbage. For a little razzle dazzle. Thinly slice this too. This is what happens when you don't have a food processor, okay? And this is also what happens when you cook in a country where coleslaw is not popular. You make your own. <laughs> okay. You make your own. And for those of you who are like, why don't you just buy a grater? They don't sell them, okay? They don't sell the grater. I haven't found one. Now I know, next time I bring my ASS back to Indonesia, bring a cheese grater with you. Thank you, okay? They don't have them. I looked high and low, trust me. Ain't seen a food processor either. Ain't seen one, child. So we're gonna shred our own carrots from scratch. All right, and then let's throw the, carrot, the carrots in here as well. Now, you know we can't eat this like this. You know that. You know we can't eat this like this. Oh, you know what I need to do? Hold on. I'm eating this raw. That's what he said. I'm eating this raw. 
so we need to wash this with filtered water, not with water out the, out the faucet, okay? All right, if I was cooking this, then by all means, right, use the faucet water. But because I'm not cooking this and I'm eating it as it is, I don't want to wash this in, you know, water that's not filtered. Okay, look at that. Coleslaw mix, Indonesian style. You can't use faucet water because, and you don't know this if you don't travel a lot, they don't have the same water treatments that we have in the United States. In the United States, you can pretty much go to almost any city and there is a commitment for the most part to relatively clean drinking water. That's how they filter the water in the United States. That's the USA. In other countries, especially Southeast Asia, Mexico even, they don't filter the water to our specifications. Not only do they not filter the water to our specifications, even if they do, the microorganisms that exist in the water is not friendly to a Western tummy, okay? So the microorganisms that are in the water could actually make you sick, even though they've cleaned the water. So it's probably best if there's something that's made with faucet water, if it's cooked, knock yourself out. If it is not cooked or just washed, you're gonna have a problem. Also, do me a favor when I'm done. I want you to Google Bali Belly. B A L I B E L L Y. Bali Belly. All right? That is a real thing. And what happens with Bali Belly is people who come and they're like, I'm going to try the food. I'm going to eat the food. And they end up getting sick, having stomach issues because. Our internal digestive system ain't used to this stuff that's outside of the USA. So you have to be very, very careful what you consume if you don't want to get sick. Okay? So one of the things you should do when you travel a lot is keep things like Imodium, Pepto-Bismol. Keep those things with you. That way, Tums, right? That way, if you ever have an issue, you don't have to worry about, damn, I can't get to a, a pharmacist or the pharmacy don't carry Pepto-Bismol. What, what am I going to do? You got it with you. Okay? So if you don't know, that's why. All right? Okay. In my coleslaw... I need some thinly sliced onion. I'm sorry, in my coleslaw, I need thinly sliced onion. You don't have to put onion in yours if you don't want to, but in mine, I need it. And they do not sell red onion in the regular grocery store here. So sweet uh, yellow onion is it, okay? All right, all my coleslaw stuff is cut, chopped, mixed, ready to go. Uh, if you know me, then that means you know that we have to add some juice to my coleslaw. Come here. Hold on before I do this. Come here. Come to this, bring your device, close. come here. First thing I wanna tell you, 
is if you need anything from our online store, you can go to shopdariuscooks.com. The discount code is the word Bali60. At checkout, you can save 50, 60% while I'm live, Bali60. Number one, what, what, what kind of food will you serve in the new restaurant? Thank you for not following me on Facebook or Instagram. I posted the menu last night. Go look at it. Uh, the second thing is, here, come here. Second thing is this. I, Darius Williams, do not care if you do not put golden raisins in your coleslaw. I'm going to put them in mine. I don't care if your grandma didn't do it. My grandmama did. I'm going to put them in mine. Somebody said you should go live at the restaurants. You're asleep when I go live, okay? If I go to a restaurant for lunch, it's normally three, four o'clock in the afternoon. It's three or four o'clock in the morning in New York, uh, two or three in the morning in Chicago, one or two in the morning in Denver, and midnight to one in LA. So I'm on the opposite side of you. Right now, it's 10.07 a.m. In New York right now, it's 10.07 p.m., okay? So I would love to do those things live, but the time difference is weird. And um, you know, you can watch the replay or I can just record it for you and then you can go watch it on my YouTube channel, okay? Okay, look at this. Onion, two types of cabbage, shredded carrots. I'm sorry, I love a golden raisin. If the raisin ain't golden, I still like it. But this is why you cook for yourself because you determine what you think is best for your palate. You know what I'm saying? If you like the coleslaw without the raisins, don't have the raisins. Some people like coleslaw with craisins and cranberries and dried pineapple and, you know, all those things. But I personally, I love it. Baby, this look amazing. Look at this. Look at this, this looks amazing. Look at this. Don't that look good? Don't you just want some pulled pork right now? So will you have a filtering system at your restaurant? No, I'm not gonna have a filtering system at a soul food restaurant that's not popular in Bali. In fact, I want everybody to come to a soul food restaurant that's not, the soul food is not popular in Bali, and I want you to drink unfiltered water and get sick. You know, God gave y'all brains for a reason. You're gonna have to start using them. You're gonna have to. God gave y'all great, he gave y'all brains for a reason. You're gonna have to start using your brain. You're gonna have to. You're gonna have to. Why the, I'm not gonna cuss, but why in the fuck would I open up a restaurant without filtered water? Mm. Oh. This is beautiful. Creamy, sweet, acidic. Oh, this is perfect. In the fridge for a few minutes, let's make the spaghetti the pasta, and let's fry the fish and the shrimp, and then we'll be done. This is, girl, this is outstanding. This is outstanding. Matter of fact, I want some more raisins in mine. Where they go? This is outstanding. You know, one thing I can't do well, I'm not gonna lie to you, is make a coleslaw. And this is what my grandmother would be so proud of me on. I watched my grandmother make coleslaw from scratch for years. She always kept coleslaw. And that Pamela, my grandmother, she always kept coleslaw in the refrigerator. And she always put right raisins in it. Anybody here but me? I'm double dipping. And she always put raisins in it. It's almost like that Chick-fil-A carrot salad. 
You know what I'm saying? It's always been good to me. I'm talking about good, good too, child. Like I can't get enough good. Mmm. 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 Oh, this is good. ShopDariusCooks.com. The discount code is the word BALI60 at checkout. All right? In the fridge, this goes. Oh, it's good, y'all. And if you don't think you like raisins in your coleslaw, you're not alone. Like, I fully recognize that there are people who go, there he is. I love you. But I'm not putting no raisins in my coleslaw. Before I left Houston, I had some of the Houston Dehive over to my house. You might remember the photo, okay? They came to my house and we did a, I did a whole, like a fish fry for them. Um, my friends Kendria came from Atlanta. Brenda came from Atlanta. And I made for them uh, tequila lime coleslaw. You know how you just turned your nose up and you were just like, They did the exact same thing. Ask me how much coleslaw was left. Them heifers was taking coleslaw home with them, talking about, I need some of this to go home with me. They was online talking about, I'm eating my coleslaw right now with my fish. You know, I will admit, I will admit that it was amazing. Oh, look at Charisse. It was delicious. Thank you, Puddin. And then I told them, right, after I made it, ate mine when I got home. Thank you. And this is why I told him, I said, this is the reason, or this is one of the reasons I want to open up a Southern fish company in America is because girl, I know my coleslaw good. It's amazing. It's like, it really reimagines coleslaw. It makes you go, I didn't know coleslaw could be this good. And I'm like, I told you. Okay, let's get the pan ready so we can fry our fish. I will tell you, I went to one place the other day. It's a place here called uh, Soil Food. S-O-I-L, Soil Food. They sell like whole foods, lentils, teas, loose leaf stuff. They have semolina flour. I was this close to buying it to fry my fish in. This coke, because they don't sell cornmeal here. Cornmeal is not something that exists. In fact, Tommy was like, what's that? I've never heard of cornmeal before. I said, I know. So what I have been using instead of cornmeal is polenta, which is the Italian version of grits, right? I have been using polenta and for the cornbread and the shrimp and grits, it's come out beautifully and it's worked. But to fry my fish in, I was like, you know what? I might want to fry my fish in a little bit of, um, of semolina flour to see what I like, okay? Now, a couple things I just did. One, 
I put a pot on boiling water. Two golden rules. Whenever I cook pasta, I don't care how long you have been following me, these have been my golden rules forever, all right? What are they, y'all? Come on, let's stand together as a community, all right? What are we doing whenever we make pasta? If you're new here, listen up. I see the comments coming. I see the comments coming. There you go. Okay. You need to over salt the water, which we already did. And it's, it's about to boil. We have over salted the water and we are doing what to the pasta? Very good. Very good. We are under cooking the pasta. I'm checking my um, level on my um, heat. All right, all right, let's make a dredge. This is all purpose flour. This is what they got. This is how they flour come. I know it looked very different. This is how they flour. It's all purpose flour. This is how it comes. Now, the real test is when I get ready to make these biscuits. That's going to be the real test, okay? For a little textural contrast, I'm going to put some of the polenta or cornmeal in here. But I also want to season this up a little bit, right? Cause I really want like maximum flavor here. This is my last time to really get it right. Okay, I'm making a dredge. This is um, two to one, two to one flour and cornmeal, two to one flour and cornstarch. Okay, so I'm just starting to make a bit of a dredge. Okay, cornmeal, flour, and cornstarch, okay? We'll season this with some salt. This is a sea salt. They don't have that kosher salt here. They don't do that, okay? Let's also do, I'll do smoke pap, and I'll do some compound seasonings, all right? So smoked paprika, Italian herb seasoning and Cajun. Three of these together will give me what I came for. All right, this is my last time to get the seasonings right and I want to get it right. Before I do this, let's make sure I got everything set up. Because my pasta is ready. My pasta is ready to go in, so I want to get my pasta going. All right, pasta is ready. My water is boiling, good, all right? So let's add in some pasta. It's only me, so I'm just gonna do like one, barely a serving of pasta. And I'm gonna show you in a second how I like to throw it together. I have this really cute way of how I like to eat my pasta. Don't worry, I'll show you. All right, let's get the pasta going. All right, you know what you gotta do. As it melts, you gotta, as it melts. As it softens, you gotta stir it up. Okay, let's get the fish in first. Cause I think my oil is ready for my fish. So I'm gonna stir up my dredge. All right, and don't forget anything you need from my online store, pot, pan, skillet, everyday skillet, which is the best skillet you'll ever own in your life. I'm not exaggerating when I say that. Can y'all testify for me? Can y'all let them know? Just say he's right. If you believe that that everyday skillet and that knife is the best thing and that pressure cooker is the best thing you'll ever own, can you just do me a favor? 
and just put in the comment section, he's right. He's right. Okay. And you can get either or at shopdariuscooks.com. The discount code is the word BALI60 at checkout, and that's going to save you 60% while I'm live. All right. I shook off the excess. I put it back into my homemade buttermilk, seasoned buttermilk mixture, and I'm gonna throw this fish right back into this dredge. Almost a double fry, I mean a double coating situation. All right, and now I've got the fish beautifully coated, ready for the oil. So let me throw this in the oil. We cut this oil down. Oh, it's actually down pretty low. All right, and I'm gonna dredge up my shrimp as well, cause the shrimp I want to eat those now. And you know, shrimp don't take but a second to to cook up, so the shrimp are gonna be the easy part of all of this. Okay, let me get my plate ready too, cause I want to get my plate ready for when the fish comes out. It's got some place to sit on, and it's not waiting on me. Okay, you see that? Shrimp or dredge. Let me clean my hands and get a plate. Y'all hold the line one second. All right, let's get a plate. Uh oh, I'm making a mess over here. Hold on. There we go. Thank you. You don't got to bubble over like that. You're doing too much in front of all these people. You're acting too crazy. Calm yourself down. Okay, you weren't doing this yesterday. So quit, quit doing this today. Hold on, y'all. The pasta, you got to talk to the pasta. It's doing a little too much right now. Let me get a plate, y'all. Hold on. And I'm going to line this plate with paper towel. That way it's ready for my fish. Now listen, I don't know, but she's so smell good. She smell, she smell good now. I'm not gonna lie to you. She's smelling, she smelled like somebody's Friday night fish fry down to the Baptist church where the usher smoke cigarettes. Okay, she don't. Let me flip it. Let me give it a flip. It don't, it don't smell too bad now. It don't smell too. Excuse me. Excuse me. This don't smell too bad. Let's get this pasta off. All right, we're going to undercook our pasta. You don't want to overcook the pasta. That's the one thing you don't want to do, okay? All right, pasta is out. We might be on to something here. You need a skillet for this. I only bought one everyday skillet, the blasphemy. Next time I come to Bali, I will have six everyday skillets with me. You can get yours from shopdariuscooks.com. The discount code is the word BALI60. At checkout. You know what I think is so funny? When I first start these lives, you have no idea where I'm going with it. You have no idea. What is he making? What is he doing? How is he cooking that? You have no idea. But something happens along the way where it all begins to come together. There's a shifting happening right now. May I just take a moment to speak into your life and tell you, it does not matter what they say. It does not matter the pain that you think you are going through. All you got to do is keep going. See, you just keep going 
and you don't stop. But there is a shifting happening if you'll continue. It'll all make sense. Grandma saying, after a while. Grandma, can I have a popsicle? After a while. I never understood after a while until I got old. I know exactly what the hell after a while means. All right? All right, let's get this fish out. It's cooked now. It's fried, baby. Ooh. Is she fried? This this Dover sole. We done fried it up. Ooh, ooh, ooh. We almost lost it. Okay. I'm gonna put this shrimp on. Look at that. Now look at that. That don't make no sense. This bitch came out looking like this. Look at this. Now, it don't make no sense this fish came out looking like this. Let's get the shrimp in, okay? Let's get the shrimp in the grease so we can add the shrimp to the meal. Hold the line. Let me put the shrimp on. Oh, we having a fish fry today, Doc. Oh, we having a fish fry today. Hold on. I'm putting the, I'm, I'm battering the, uh, dumping the batter off and putting the shrimp in the grease. And I don't want to overcrowd the pan because, you know, I want them to cook properly. There we go. Last one in. All right. Let's put some heat to this last skillet. I'm going to show you how I like to make my pasta. And she's a doozy. Okay. So to make the pasta, I've already cut up a little bit. And by a little bit, I mean this much. Mozzarella cheese. You could use... Um, the fresh mozzarella, or you could use the kind that we use for pizza. I think, honestly, the kind that we use for pizza is the way to go. Okay? You heard what I said, right? Well, the kind we use for pizza is the way to go. Personal opinion, okay? Do what you want, but... I think the <laughs> not real mozzarella is, is how we're gonna get down, okay? And then I've got Parmesan cheese ready on standby, all right? Let me flip my shrimp. Hold on, y'all. Let me give my shrimp a flipper. Oh my God, why does this look so goddamn good? Hold on, y'all. I'm flipping my shrimp. All right. Now, into this skillet that's nice and it's hot now. We're getting it warm. I've got a, a ladle. I don't know if I have any more utensil sets on the site. If I do, grab you on shopdariuscooks.com. Okay, and here's what I like to do. This skillet is now relatively warm. I'll take a couple ladles of sauce. and throw the ladles of sauce into the pan. This is what I like to do, okay? To that, all that cheese right in there, okay? Then, I will take a handful of hot ass cooked pasta. <laughs> and throw the pasta in there as well, okay? Then 
I could use a spoon or something and just give her a mix. This is how I like to enjoy my spaghetti. And if I need a little more sauce, you can add a little bit more sauce. So this way you can make it as saucy as you'd like, okay? Now, to this, I don't have a grater. I couldn't find a cheese grater. They ain't have one, okay? I look. So I'm just gonna grate, I'm just gonna break up. Same thing you would do, okay? If you was in another country and you was cooking for your people at the house, what would you do? And they didn't have no cheese graters. Use your fingers and get in here and grate this cheese up in here. Okay? And the idea now is that, you see how that mozzarella starts to melt on you and get stringy? See, this is what I like. That's why I'm fat. See that mozzarella start to get stringy on you? Look at that. You see? Who finna eat good is me. Who finna eat good is me. We done made some spaghetti. And we done fried some shrimp and some fish. And we got the coleslaw in the fridge there. Who finna eat good is me. Oh, Instagram says, paused due to poor connection. Hold on, y'all. Sorry, y'all. Okay, sorry, y'all back. Y'all see that? Y'all see that? Okay. Before we eat this, I got to do one last thing. Do you mind? Hello? Before we eat this, I have to do one last thing, and I promise you I'm done. Can anybody guess what it is? Can anybody guess what I need to do? I was gonna make garlic bread. I don't need it. I was gonna make some. The oven is literally preheated for garlic bread. I had the garlic bread. I was gonna make garlic bread. I don't need it. I don't need it. Honey hot sauce. Honey hot sauce. What do you mean? 
honey hot sauce. Yes. You have to have honey hot sauce with your fried fish. How you gonna eat your fried fish without your honey hot sauce, child? You ain't gonna do that. I wanna thank you so much for tuning in. You guys have a great night. Thank you so much for watching. <laughs> Oh, good damn well, he not finna log off before he eat this. I'm gonna eat it. <laughs> I'm just joking with you. I figured you would like that. Okay. I figured you would enjoy just playing around with you a little bit. All right. Ha ha ha. Oh God. Yes. This is a Friday night fish fry here, baby. Okay. Let me tell you what you're supposed to do with this. Put on, you got to put on um, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, love. Put this on, okay? You need Lauren Brown beer and Tango Ray straight. You need a card table with four people at the card table. Two smoking a cigarette, one smoking a joint. I'ma tell you this, ain't but one card game being played. What is it? What is it? Ain't but one one card game being played. What's the card game? Not nobody playing no goddamn spade. Ain't nobody playing no goddamn gin rummy. Baby, ain't but one game. And it's bid whist. Five low. Six no. Four uptown. I pass. Two bad bids. Who's next? Ain't but one card game being played, child. And that's bid whist, Church of God in Christ. It's bid whist, Church of God in Christ. Ain't but one card game being played. What y'all talking about? Spades. Who's playing spades? I played spades when I was 12. Four and a possible. What are you talking about? I don't play that. Spades. No, I play Beard Whiz with the grown folks. It's Beard Whiz, baby. With Evelyn Champagne King. It's Beard Whiz with Teddy Pendergrad. It's Beard Whiz. Walking on a one-way street, in a way, in a way, in a way. If I don't look, I don't know the words. I gotta hear the music. He said, "That'll be all right with. All right, all right, it'll be all right. I've decided I can't let nobody turn me around." And I say to the end, I don't want to be a fool. Don't want to be. Said I don't want to be a fool ever again. Never. Ne that or you got to listen to, um, um, it's sad to think. We're not going to make it. But it's gotten to the point where we just can't fake it for some ungodly reason. That's what you got to say. The pimps be like, let it down because neither one of us, neither one of us wants to be the first to say goodbye. Bow your head and say grace. Grace. 
If there's anything you need from the online store, you can go to shopdariuscooks.com. The discount code is the word BALI60 at checkout. That is going to save you 60% whilst I am live, all right? 60% for the next about 10 minutes at Shop Darius Cooks. Dot com. Excuse me one second. I'm about to fuck this up. Baby. Baby. Put the cheese in your stuff like this with the crushed tomato. Oh, Lord. Mm. I'm from Chicago. Fish and spaghetti, homemade coleslaw and garlic bread is a thing on Fridays. Deal with it. If you're not from Chicago or the Midwest, you like, what is that? If you're from the Midwest, you like, my boy, my boy, that motherfucker did it, therefore, that's my boy right there. I fucking love him. If you're from the Midwest. Mmm. Mm. Let's try this. Let me try the shrimp first. Let me try the fish layer. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. See that? Okay, let me see. Let me see. Let me see. She seasoned to perfection. Baby, she seasoned down. Baby, she seasoned. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Okay, let me try this fish. Now, this is the red. What this was? What this was? Dover sole and was it snapper? What was there? It don't matter what it was. It's amazing. Might as well be happy. Girl, look at this. Look how meaty this is. I'm finna go camera to camera. Hold on one second. Baby, you gotta see this. If you a fried fish, look at that. Mmm. Well, bone. Look at that. If you are a fried fish lover, look at how meaty this is. Oh, red sea bass, they say. She red, child. You see that? Oh, God. Mm. Mm. Let's try the soul. See if we like this. I don't know why we wouldn't. Let me see. We like it. We like it. Put some hot sauce on it. We like it. We love it. Oh my God. What is it? Shop DariusCooks.com. The discount code is the word Bali60 at checkout. Let me just tell you from the bottom of my heart, I am full of complete gratitude for not just you guys trusting me with your attention for these couple of hours every day, you have supported my online store like nobody's business. So from my heart to yours, I do wanna thank you and give you my uh, appreciation and gratitude and just say I love leading this beautiful, lovely, amazing community, all right? You got about 10 more minutes, shopdariuscoast.com. Discount code is the word BALI60 at checkout. Knock yourself out. Two things I want to tell you, as I always do. Food is my life. Life, it is my food. Until next time, tomorrow, this same time, I will be here along with my business partner, Tommy. He is going to be cooking Indonesian meals for you on live stream. Get ready. 24 hours from today, you will see the man in action. All right? I'll talk to y'all tomorrow. Bye, y'all. Lovely.